One of the unique and chicest staircase is the floating stairs, which can be elevated to new heights with a little creativity. Let's learn the essential techniques you need to know to create one. In here, as you can see, I have a very simple scene, a few walls and floors. And now we are going to go to first level to start creating our staircase. Let's go to architecture tab and in here, click on a stair. I'm going to select this type of stair industrial and assembly because well it is easier to create what we want in this type and then we are going to start creating so in here you can see that our staircase is going from first level to second level and it is going to have like 23 steps risers threads and to set it to set these things to set some dimensions before creating it we are going to go to edit type and in here i want to change the height to like 16 centimeter and for thread i want it to be like 35 centimeter for its depth and for the run width for this part i want it to be like 1.4 you can go with any number that you want so this is the good setting for me now click on ok and ok again make sure it is on a straight and now we are going to start creating i i'm going to start from here we can like move it to this part later so as you can see we have like 23 in this part i'm going to create like 11 in this way and then I'm not going to like click anywhere without clicking anywhere. I'm going to start creating the rest of it in this part. So you saw that we set the width on 1.4. And if you want to like fit it exactly to this point, you can like set this part. You can see the dimension in here. You can set it on like 70 centimeter. And it will be exactly starting the next flight is going to start from this part but i'm going to like create a little bit of space a little bit gap on that part so i'm going to start from here or maybe from this part and then i'm going to create the rest of the stairs from here in this part you can see that the remaining stairs is like five and the risers that i have created is on six so i'm going to just simply click on this part to complete this staircase this is thread number one and this is thread number 23. Now I'm going to select it all and from this point exactly, I'm going to move it to this corner. Okay, let's go to 3D view to see how it looks. Hit finish and this is our staircase. I'm going to delete these railings because we are going to like add them later and now before like changing this is there i want to show you how you can like open this part to like use this staircase so for that we have a very helpful tool in here and it is all of these shafts so now that we have like the size of this staircase we can use this shaft i'm going to click on this part and simply i'm going to like use this pick line exactly from this part to here you don't need to like open your staircase from this part uh, you probably need to like open it from these parts but i'm going to like create it like this because i want to like trim these two parts together and also i want to like select these two parts to like have a void in this part in this corner of this scene so now I'm going to hit finish and if we go to 3D view, you can see that this part is open. But this part is also open. So to control that, I'm going to like move this part up and move this part down. So we have only this part open in this floor. Now let's work on the stair itself. I'm going to select it and from this part, I'm going to put it on isolation. So since we have selected only this part, I'm going to like use this isolate element and we have it in another view without any other element. So now we can work on it easily. I'm going to select it and from this edit type, let's go to this run type but before that i need to like duplicate this one give it any name that you want i'm going to like call it floating is there first thing we need to change is about these supports since what we are going to create is a floating is there 
we are going to like delete all of these supports so for this part for right support and for the left support i'm going to put them on none because we don't need these parts and also for the left support if you want you can create a middle support if this is like in a um, center of a house but since we are going to think that these stairs are connected to the wall we are not going to use any other support so i'm going to just apply this part and okay let's see how it looks okay it looks like this now go to edit type again and this time we are going to go to run type so in here again we need to like duplicate this part and since this is all about the threads and risers i'm going to like change its name to thread let's say 80 millimeter and okay for changing this part first and most important thing is these risers to hide or delete all of these risers you need to just simply uncheck this part fly and okay let's see how it looks and okay perfect let's go back to edit type and this time i'm going to go to this run type again and we are going to change these threads so i don't like the thickness of these threads so i'm going to change it to 80 millimeter and then if you want you can add any nosing you can like change the profile you can add anything you want to this part i'm going to only change the thread material so let's go to this part you can either create it yourself or use one of the materials that we already have in this part so i'm going to like create a wooden thread i will use one of these woods so maybe this one you can change the texture from this part or you can change the color from here i'm going to make it a little bit lighter like this okay and okay well i see this part in here i don't want it to be like this but before that i realized that we have these nosings in here which i don't want to see in my staircase so let's go back to run type in this part we don't have any like lengths for the nosing but for the profile i'm going to like simply put it on default and okay so we don't have it in here anymore for this part since we didn't create it the right way from the beginning we need to like turn this part into a sketch so we need to go to edit this there and in this part we are going to like select this part and convert it because first we created with this straight mood but now we want it to be like in a sketch mood so we need to like convert it from straight to a sketch now just simply click on edit a sketch and let's go to this first level so i don't need like any important thing in this part but i want these two parts to be like equal so since we have like 20 centimeter in this part i want also this part to be like 20 centimeter so i'm going to click on this line and then i will set the number from here to 20 centimeter so these two parts be equal hit finish and unjoin element if i select this part you can see that the landing is under this flight this one and we don't want that so i'm going to move it from this part to here like 15 centimeter okay and hit finish also for this part for the first thread i want to like change its shape so let's go back to this part i'm going to select this part again and that convert was for this landing part and if i click on it you can see that we have this edit sketch in here we don't have it in this part or in this part so we need to like convert these two parts separately again i'm going to convert this part too and then let's go to edit sketch again i don't want to like change any important thing in this part but i want to like create this first step a little bit bigger so i'm going to like move it to this part I want to have like 80 or 50 centimeter and then I'm going to like connect this part to here and also I want to like make this part a little bit bigger like this and again I'm going to like close this part with a riser like this and then connect them together don't forget about this stair pass now you can hit finish 
and this is going to be our staircase for now let's go out of this temporary isolate so for that we need to click on this part and then just click on reset temporary height isolate so now we have our staircase in this part simply like this well you see this gap you see this distance between this part the thread and the floor in here we probably need to change this shaft again because we changed the placement of this part but for this stair to connect this floor we need to like change a few other options too so if you select this staircase you can see that in the property section we have these desired numbers of risers which is on 25 and again we have this actual number of risers which is on 23 we need to match these two together so i'm going to like increase this part and the moment i move the mouse outside of this part you will see this warning and if you click on ok this thread is going to connect to this floor so again i can see that we have like one thread gap between like this part to here because i wanted to like connect exactly to this first floor and to fix that this time we are going to go to edit this there and select this part and then just simply uncheck this end with riser from this part simply like this now you can hit finish again select this staircase and then check this part because well obviously we have like one thread difference so i'm going to decrease this one to 22 and now we have the thread exactly where we want it to be now to fix this part we need to change the shaft because first we created it correctly but since we changed this landing well it moved and now we need to fix it again go back to edit sketching in the first level and then just simply align this line with here and if you lock it next time that you change the size change the thread number or anything these two parts will move together and for this part i'm going to align it with this part like this and lock it now you can hit finish up to this part it was all about the stair and threads and risers and how to change them how to like set them exactly how we need and the next part the second part is about the railing is about the baluster and all of those options that we need to create what we want i'm going to click on this part in the architecture tab in the circulation panel I'm going to click on this railing option and i am going to select this place on a stair then i will click on this staircase so i don't want like this one i'm going to delete it but for this one let's select it with this stair and also with this floor because we are going to need it later and again let's go to isolate element so in here we have this railing which you can see that it is very simple railing but again i want to like change some settings about it to create exactly what we need first of all i can see that we have this railing on the first thread which i don't want it so i'm going to select it let's go to edit pass and I'm going to just simply delete this part now let's go to first level to see where it is exactly it is in the second step which i want it to be like this and now i can hit finish so let's go to 3d view yes it is exactly when i want it to be select the railing go to edit is there and in here i want to like change some things about these balusters so you can see that we have like two posts in this part i don't want it also we have posts in this corner and also at the end let's just hide or delete all of them go to baluster placement and from this part from this post section i'm going to just simply put them on none for all of these for start post for corner post and also for end post put all of them on none and then we are going to see how this looks perfect much better now how we can extend these railings to the height we need so for that we are going to select these railings and we need to go to this edit pass select one of them because we have like a few lines so you need to select one of them and from this part you need to change the slope and put it on flat 
and if i click on finish in here you can see that we have a problem well to fix that again you need to select it and you need to change this height correction and put it on custom after that you need to like give it a number let's go with five meter and then simply hit finish now you have a very unique but we have like a flaw in here but they are all extended to the desired height so to fix that also you need to like change the height in here go back to edit pass select the line and let's just put it on 4.6 and hit finish yes this is much better also you can like delete this top rail or create any unique form that you want for these bolsters and then like add them to this part we are going to like repeat it for all of these parts go to edit pass select them one by one and put them on flat and then change the custom put it on like 4.6 this part should be like the same for all of them again for this part i'm not going to like change the speed because you told me like a thousand times you don't like that the speed is too much so you need to watch all of it with me the last one 4.6 and then we are going to hit finish perfect this is exactly what we needed this was everything you need to know about floating stairs if you want to learn more about the stairs and how you can create different forms different shapes make sure to watch this video thank you for watching and i will see you soon